Our next finalist is Etana King, a fifth grader at John Neely Bryan Elementary School. The Nobel Prize for Peace is awarded to the person who has done the most or best work for all of humanity, for reducing standing armies around the world, and most importantly, for promoting peace. 50 years ago, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was the youngest person to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. If Dr. King were still alive, I believe he would continue the work of the civil rights movement, that our civilization will truly become civilized. If Dr. King were to win the Nobel Peace Prize today, I believe his acceptance speech would be inspiring and profound his voice becoming the voice of human consciousness, awakening the brain and signaling the rest of the body to get up. I believe Dr. King would acknowledge that he received this prize for peace during a time when our world is overwhelmed with violence. He would be mindful that our young people are being bullied and gunned down on school campuses, killed just for being in the wrong place at the wrong time wearing the wrong clothing. He would be mindful that many of our citizens are murdered by those who have sworn to protect and serve. I believe Dr. King would acknowledge that our nations are engaged in aggression, revenge, retaliation, and terrorism, all for the sake of religion, ideology, and control of resources. He would remind us that we must learn to live together as brothers and sisters, or we will be forced to perish as fools. I imagine he would share his continued faith and optimism that we shall overcome, edifying us that we will not be healthy as a nation, a world, as one body of humanity until we realize in order for man to overcome oppression and violence, we cannot resort to violence and oppression. Dr. King would accept this award on behalf of all the different parts of our body of humanity because each part depends on the other. Dr. King would declare, we must not use our legs to march into battle or to run away during moments of challenge and controversy. Instead, our legs must allow us to stand up for peace making upwards tries towards the higher realm of our nature. We must not use our arms to take up weapons that harm and destroy. Instead, we must use them to embrace our differences. Use our arms to build up dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear. Our chest is the temple of our heart. We must harden it not against the flow of blood, that carry sustenance and the breath of life. We must allow our heart to be that vibrant pump, circulating the blood of justice, equality, and hope throughout our body of humanity. Our head houses our brain, the begetter of our thoughts, our perception of reality, which guides our body to act, for good or bad, for right or wrong. We must not abuse, confuse, or misuse our minds with thoughts of violence and despair, hopelessness and helplessness. We must infuse our thoughts with love, use our minds to achieve peaceful victory in the battle against the violence of injustice. Dr. King would say he accepts this peace prize in the spirit of the Good Samaritan. The first question which the priest and the Levite asked was, if I stop to help this man, what will happen to me? But the Good Samaritan reversed the question, saying, if I do not stop to help this man, what will happen to him? As Dr. King leaves the podium, his head will go up, signaling for all people to sing with one voice the words that embody the truth we all must live by. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more backwards thinking. Time for thinking ahead. No, the world won't get much better. 
if we just let it be. No, the world won't get no better. We got to make a change. Just you and me. Thank you.